Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you how to format your Mac or reset it back to factory default so it's just like it was when you bought it for the first time. This will enable you to either sell it or return it or whatever you need to do. So the first thing we need to do is go in and disable a few things or sign out of a few things. So let's do that now. Now the first step we're going to do is deauthorize it from iTunes or sign out from iTunes. So we need to go into iTunes, go to account and then sign out. Now, after you've done that and you've signed out of that, now you need to do the exact same thing for messages. Now messages has the account settings up here, preferences, and then you'll get to accounts and then you need to sign out of here as well. Now, once you're signed out of that, you need to sign out of iCloud. So that's what we'll do next. That's under your system preferences and under system preferences, find iCloud. Now the same thing goes here. You want to sign out down here on the bottom left. Make sure everything is signed out. Now, before you do any of this, you need to make sure that you have a backup if you're trying to replace the Mac. So it's going to continue to ask you if you want to delete information from your Mac, just keep hitting delete. And then at some point you'll be prompted for your iCloud password. Now, after you put in your password, it will finally sign you out of everything and you'll be good to go as far as that part goes. So it's not associated with you at all anymore. Now we're going to shut down the Mac. Just go to the app on the upper left and click shut down. I'm going to use command option R as I don't want this associated with my Apple ID anymore. So hold those down and then hit the power button. Keep holding them and give them a few minutes and then it will boot up and you can see it will say starting internet recovery and then it will boot up. Now that it's starting, you can let go of the keys. Now that it's finished booting up, we'll select our language and then click next. And then at this point, this is where we need to wipe the drive. So we'll click on disk utility and click continue. Then here we need to click on Macintosh hard drive or HD and then click erase. So if we click on erase, you can select the format. You'll see it's APFS or APFS encrypted. Just select APFS, click erase. It will take a few moments. You'll see it completely deleted everything. It says erase process is complete. Click done to continue. So we'll click done. So now what we need to do is click the X here and go to reinstall Mac OS. So we'll click continue. This will take a moment and then we'll start to install the OS all over again. So here you'll see, we'll click continue. We'll have to agree to the terms again, click agree, then select our drive. Just click on the drive, then click install. Now that it's done, we're back to what it looked like when we first picked it up. And that's really all there is to it. Now you can either sell it or do whatever you need to do to it. All of your data has been wiped. Let me know if you have any other questions in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.